Hello, welcome to the channel. There's been a ton of activity in the Mercedes-Benz High Power Charging Network project. So much so, I was getting ready to do this video on multiple times and they kept coming out with more activity. And I was like, anything else? <laughs> and finally I decided to just go ahead and make the recording it. And if they keep doing new press releases, we'll just have to roll with it. First off, I'd say the most important thing that happened in the Mercedes-Benz High Power Charging Network project is a change in leadership. Andrew Cornelia exited his role as CEO <clears throat> and um, Heiko is the pronunciation of this gentleman's first name, Schmidt, which you can see the pronunciation provided by Anthony down here, Heiko. Schmidt is, um, he hasn't updated his LinkedIn profile yet, but I understand he is the new CEO of Mercedes-Benz High Powered Charging. And I might be incorrect about that, but I don't think so. I've seen on some posts where um, Heiko is going to be backfilling Andrew's position. Uh, perhaps if not in name of CEO, at least in um, function. Um, but I think he did actually get the title. I, I might be wrong about that, but I think he did actually get the title of CEO. <clears throat> so Andrew went on to um, Uber and is now the electrification and sustainability uh, point person for Uber. Uh, so his uh, role has broadened over there and he leaves behind a very uh, proud legacy at Mercedes-Benz Power Power Charging, which is doing nothing but continuing with growing with inertia and uh, execution of excellence. Going over some of the mentions that Heiko um, put out there in interviews. Um, I've been over this before, so I'm not gonna stay on this too long, but talking about partnerships with Simon Malls and Starbucks, retrofits of NACs, and we'll get into that in just a second, building into Bucky's, 55 Bucky's was mentioned. And basically everywhere where there's a Bucky's, there will be a Mercedes-Benz high power charging station as well. Additionally, they announced that they're going to be doing a um, a raffle or a what is it, a sweepstakes, uh, where if you enter and are selected, you'll be um, treated to a weekend in Atlanta in order to see a, a sporting event in the Mercedes-Benz uh, Stadium, and treated as one of the uh, VIP tours of the Mercedes-Benz High Power Charging headquarter campus and the very distinctive charging station that they have on their campus in Sandy Springs as well. All expenses paid is what it's saying. So go sign up. I definitely threw my uh, name in the hat to see or threw my hat in the ring in order to see if I could get that because I would definitely would not mind spending an all expense paid uh, weekend with my wife in um, Atlanta and being treated with um, with being treated VIP treatment by Mercedes-Benz. Next up, uh, for the EV nerds out there who do tracking like myself, they released a new map. And I'm going to get into this. The last map was real trash. <laughs> Sorry to say. It bothered me to no end. You couldn't do anything with it. But you can see now we've got zoom in. It's a dynamic map. And you see these pips that are gray? Those are coming soon pips. And there's lots of them. So they've not only added a map, they've also added a whole bunch of coming soon. And with each one of my CPOs that I do tracking for, and I track four, I do Pilot Flying J, I do Ayana, I do Mercedes-Benz and BP Pulse, and then other people do other CPOs. I try to see what I have available to me in order to do tracking. And if I need to augment by doing kind of a grassroots database or spreadsheet or something, then I do so. But in this particular case, I think Mercedes-Benz is giving me all that I need. So I'm going to try to stay on the reservation of things that they're providing to me. And I'll get into the plug share also in just a second. But you can see all these uh, gray dots is starting to look like a teenager with chicken pox. Look at all these coming soon locations. And um, tons in the upper northeast, even Bangor, Maine, we've got a coming soon. And um, this one here is uh, the Kittery Premium Outlets is now open, and I'll get into the uh, new stations that are open in just a second. But this is a very cool map, and they definitely upgraded their mapping skills. And it came shortly after Heiko took over. So I don't know if this was something on his short list of something he wanted to get done right away, but if so, I much appreciate it. And just tons of um, 
gray pips all over here, plus the ones that are open. I mean, it's a sheer number of uh, ports, and we'll get into a milestone that they just passed recently as well. And look, we're in Canada also. We have some um, new gray pips in Canada. There was a lot of discussion about I when IANA was going to shift there, and they seem to be evading the question. But Mercedes-Benz is embracing Canada apparently uh, full force, especially up here in the Vancouver um, area. So anyway, I'll put the link to this map down below in the description. And as I mentioned, PlugShare is in very similar lockstep to that map. And it seems as though someone in Mercedes-Benz high-powered charging is going through. And as pips get met, added to this map, someone goes through and adds them over here. And I think it's Mercedes-Benz because if you look, it has the Mercedes-Benz logo. So that means this is not a crowdsourced addition to PlugShare. This is Mercedes-Benz adding this location to PlugShare. And if you were unaware, uh, PlugShare has a Mercedes-Benz filter. So you can go on uh, PlugShare, you can toggle at all of them off, and then just choose Mercedes-Benz, and you get a very similar map to that last map. The difference is, is you also have crowdsourced people who are showing up getting pictures of construction and a lot of these are brand new and I haven't seen a lot of additions just because they seem to be getting put in here pretty quick but some of them do so for instance Braintree I think is how it's pronounced that is looking how it's phonetically spelled um, we have a picture from November 22nd oh that's Steve's car I'm pretty sure that's Steve's Ionic 5 and um Looks to be Alpitronics on site getting ready to be installed in a characteristic uh, Mercedes Benz style. So I think this is going to be sufficient in order for me to do what I need to do um, with all the coming soon locations um, because this all seems to be really well packaged by Mercedes Benz uh, for content creation like what I'm doing and it's making my job very easy. I don't have to go out there and manually add pips. Everything is kind of like um, catered and brought into focus. And you can see this brickwork down here is very similar to islands that they do in other places as well. That must be part of their design language for their uh, stations. So anyway, I think this is what we're going to do. And this just kind of roll around the horn here. You can see four coming into the greater Atlanta. If you include Athens into the greater Atlanta. I suppose that's a bit of a stretch, but even still. Uh, this one down here, Locust Grove, is one of the ones that opened. Roswell Crossing. I don't know where that is. Let's take a look at that station. Wow. Big station. We got this one sticking out here, which looks to be um, handicap accessible. And you'll notice that we have four cables per charger. There was mentioned by Mercedes-Benz High Power Charging that they are now deliberately including every stall to have a cable for CCS and a cable for NAX. So that is now a part of their uh, design requirements. So every stall, not every charger, but every stall is going to have both CCS and NAX on every stall going forward. And you can see that's been the case of all these pictures that we've seen so far. Um, what is the other one? Nothing there. Uh, there's a whole bunch down in Florida, but I think nothing new down here. And if you remember the gray dots from this map over here, we didn't really see anything in Florida for coming soon. All of them are like in the Upper East Coast and Georgia, and then over there on the I-5 corridor. So, let me just quickly look at this and apologize for meandering. Um, this one here in Indiana, again, four cables. Chargers in the ground. And it, if I could kind of frame what I'm looking at here, not only is there a deliberate in adding to the EV community's primary source of spotting and tracking these things, which is PlugShare, so it's kind of like, hey, EV community, we hear you, and we're going to help make sure that you know our network is visible to you, I think is really what I'm catching from what is uh, occurring. But there's also an explosion of stations. I mean, my goodness, look at all these stations uh, coming 
online. And the one of most note is here in Red Bluff. And the reason being is, we'll see in here in just a second, is the partnerships. And let's go to that now. So these were the uh, partners that were announced through time underneath Andrew Cornelius' um, leadership, Simon Malls, uh, Bucky's Alpitronic, Starbucks, and Federal Realty. And the Starbucks one is the one I personally think is of most note. The Bucky's ones is was a really good bootstrap because they have tons of property at really good interstate locations, but um, Starbucks is more of a in your face day in day out um, daily grind sort of place and the station that they put in in red buff california only has four stalls so it's not like a big large travel corridor station although it is on interstate five uh it's designed it looks to be designed more for like um everyday use sort of thing you know you go and you get your coffee and while you're standing in line waiting for the barista to uh, brew your coffee your car is charging and by the time you get out 15 minutes has gone by and you've been topped off um, so that seems to be what is occurring with that partnership there. And let's go over that. 100 Starbucks stores across the country. So although Interstate 5 is highlighted in the initial press release, they are going across the country. And more locations will eventually be identified, including markets on the East Coast. So that might be what we are looking at. So the pips here, I did not see Starbucks locations on the East Coast yet. And I might have missed them, but I don't think so. I think these are... Yeah, these are malls that are still coming. I have not seen any Starbucks over there. So right now, the only Starbucks we know about are over here on the West Coast. Is this a Starbucks? Yeah, there's a Starbucks. So Starbucks, the way they, the reason they, the, the way they announce this is that during the first phase, Interstate Five. So that's what we could expect with Starbucks and Mercedes Benz. After I-5 is finished, and basically, I don't know if these are the numbers that we could expect going up and down I-5, but um, after this is finished, then they'll start spreading out into other areas of the country, specifically calling out the East Coast. And if I go back, let me just go back really quick to the Heiko's um, um, interview. It says starting along I-5 and proceeding nationwide, and I think there was mention of every 50 miles along Interstate 5, so I don't know how long Interstate 5 is from Washington down to San Diego, but um, if you calculate 50-mile stretches, that would give us an indication of how many Starbucks are going in uh, along I-5 before they start spreading out. Additionally, previously mentioned 600 kilowatt charging is coming to the Mercedes-Benz high power charging network here in the United States and Europe uh, through their partnership with Albitronic using HYC 1000s. Lastly, they've hit the mile marker of 500 ports and posted into social media, I got this off LinkedIn, a celebration of marking 500 ports in Saks Fifth Avenue. They do like their high-end malls. Nordstrom and Saks Fifth are some of the places where you typically see as backdrops from Mercedes-Benz high-powered charging uh, stations. But they also pointed out here uh, stations that were currently open. So let me just ro roll through these really quick. Thornton, Colorado, that one has been around for a while. Windsor, South Windsor, Connecticut. Delray Beach, Florida, again, been around for a while. Baytown, Texas, that one has been around probably about three months. And North Fork, Virginia, which is the last one sitting in the Alternative Fuels Data Center database before they start hopefully adding them back at some point in the future. Terrell, Texas, Lutz, Florida, Clarksburg, Maryland, Locust Grove, Georgia. This is the ones that are starting to get to be new. Austell, Georgia, Venice, Florida, Hyannis, Massachusetts, Red Bluff, California, just recently opened, Kittery, Maine, St. Johnsbury, Vermont, and Birmingham, Alabama, which is this one right here, which is celebrating 500 ports now open and under operation by Mercedes-Benz high-powered charging. Who would have thunk little Mercedes-Benz has actually been chipping away and finally starting to get uh, some serious numbers start stacking up. That's the update I have for this time. Knowing this crew, they're going to remain <laughs> incredibly active, and I'm going to be constantly wondering when I'll have to pull the trigger on the next update because they don't ever seem to want to slow down and give me a break in order to coalesce the information into another 
um, update. But we'll keep on top of it for you. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video.